All right, we got this uh, Whirlpool next. Bravos, or what is this, a Maytag? I guess it's a Maytag. Maytag, Whirlpool, they're kind of the same. Nothing happens. The person I got it from thought this switch might be bad, but I'm not so sure. So we'll move it over there and start taking it apart. Look. It looks good. No issues there. It's pretty clean. Check this switch. Or this uh, thermal fuse. Yeah, that one's testing good. We should be open here, which we are. Let's check the heat element. We should test good. Check this guy up here. Jit test good. Check the heat element to the case. You see that? That should be open. That shouldn't be grounded. So we need a new heat element and a new thermal fuse on this one. So let's pull that heat element off and look at it. We're gonna have to order one. Well, I'm trying, but Dave, you, you need help. Do I? Yeah. <clears throat> so now, so what we're expecting to see is this touch this and it's not. It was touching right there. That's why. Look right there. I can oh, see I it see. now. Yeah, the arc mark. Yeah, right here on this thing. Oh, see yeah, right there. Nice little clean guy. Yeah, right in front of my finger now. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to pull it out back here. I keep playing with all this sheet metal yeah so even though it's clean look at how much stuff is in there and this is a clean one usually there's a lot more stuff that just gets stuck so, Super treasures. so we vacuum it yeah this one we might not even need a vacuum just pour it out on the ground it's like somebody liked to carry 22 in his pocket <laughs> 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 And forget about it. It's lucky those things didn't fucking blow up with the heat. You know what I mean? Like, okay, so you have a dryer that is grounding the heat element, so it's getting super hot. Right. And then you put a bunch of 22 shells in it. Look at that. Hopefully it's not too bumpy for you guys. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just we'll put this stuff on here, I guess. Well, we can put this thing back on. Put this back on. We'll take the front of this apart and clean that and check the bearings. So if you get this machine, you'll know what we did to it. Super. I don't know. Go <laughs> right there and push up. saw bullets. Is that what you call sunflower seeds? <laughs> oh, look at that money. <laughs> Score! Okay. Yeah, that's really a clean machine. That bearing needs work. That one's alright. 
So we're gonna work this bearing. Water feels good. That moves. Okay, we'll vacuum that real quick. Take that off. Pull that off. It's usually you just need to clean these. What I'm guessing is like emulsified hair. Yes. In there. See that? Clean them. Beautiful. Sometimes they're worn. And if they're worn, then we replace them. See, that didn't spin before. Now it sort of spins. So. Go back to filming. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we heard some clicking. We're going to take this fin off because I think there's coins in there. Yep. Well, there's one in there. There is there is a dryer ball that fell. Look at these. Oh, I squished it. But they like the lint gets in there and turns into these like perfect round balls. Okay, so our front end on this one's done. We just have to wait for the parts to rebuild the back end. So we can put. All right, today is tomorrow. So we're back on this. We got the new heat element here to put in. See, these don't move. They're like, they're in there pretty solid. The oh, other yeah, ones, beautiful. the other ones moved. So these are better. <clears throat> clean the outside and test it we'll do at least two loads we always do at least two loads but there you go if you get this dryer here's what we did to it yeah comment subscribe mucho gracias subscribe to our channel thanks for watching